rainy day in Polio Avenue in Trinsky. And something tell me, this is a nationwide rain boy. Yeah boy. Yeah. And we wanted to go to the beach today, yeah? Yeah boy. <laughs> we made in the rain and said. Yeah, but I pray like them, boy. I mean, do you remember when we were, you were working, when rain started to fall? What? I put on my swimsuit and out here with all it. Outside here, yeah. Man, I went on that road. And the clothes I say, um, God move in the put it here. Yeah. Grex. <laughs> and it's coming in floor when rain falling. Mm -hmm. So, my dear friends, today it is salad, rice, and melon jam. Right, please? Bayan, as they say. We drinking water, Shana drinking juice. We trying yes. to behave ourselves. Hey, I would like to take this opportunity. I didn't make any videos over the weekend, right? Dolly Mollet, her daughter Rachel celebrated her birthday. So happy belated birthday to Dolly Mollet's daughter Rachel, and I'm sending a big shout out to Samson, right? Samson. Big shout out to you. Yeah. 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 Mm. You're eating some curry bygone here. Curry bygone rice and salad. Mm. After all, let me do some burgers last night. <laughs> Boy, after them have burgers, the wife bring oats over here. Yes? <laughs> <laughs> she said, Boy, I want your heart to be in good order. <laughs> so, we well, have been asking for burger. Since you in America, you had burger. But we come back here in Canada, two nights straight. Burger. Yeah, burger is yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. And he's as good as Burger King, eh? Yeah. Hey, and in the background there, boy, old faithful. Old faithful standing up there, boy. Who got this too? Yes, boy. I still cook many a meal, you know. Oh, you mean, and the man takes some more bike, and they. All right, you fix up, you fix up. Okay, let me see what I can do now with this meal here. Very tasty. Tasty? You had a hand in it? I feel the bike, and. You feel the bike, and? Yes. Oh, God. Very good for you. Well, you know. I had to eat the bag and... Look at the breeze blowing that tank, eh? Mm -hmm. It's a westerly breeze, breeze blowing there. Wow, look at that. Flip camera, flip camera. Mm. While the breeze blowing, Papa Lance blowing out here. <laughs> you see me? Yeah. I ain't had the art for this, you know. That's all right. One more. To all our fans, to all those who support us, we just want to be loyal to you all. Bring in something that is clean, not anything of viciousness or anything like that. Mm. Some blue cheese pepper sauce. Mm. You know, I really enjoy that visit this morning with Samson. Yeah. yeah. I like it because he's a very simple man, full of humor, very quiet, and he could laugh. There's a kind of charisma about the man. You know what I mean? Yes. They say charisma is something that um, inspires others. If you have a personality with charisma, you already inspire other people. Yes. You know so I guess if you're full of charisma, you, you're a charismatic person. Charismatic. Charismatic, yeah. I was trying to remember. Charismatic person. 
Yeah. Yeah. You know, they say that you know charisma is something like the power to inspire admiration or enthusiasm in other people. You think you did that on a job when you were in Pilois? I didn't do it, it was natural. Tell them about you. <laughs> How you go along with your friends in NNP? Decent, or generally? Decent. <laughs> but um, I also, when I come across to many people as a kind of harsh person too. Well, I guess it's harsh when necessary. But not, but I mean, you but could. I think, you know, um, to say that if one should judge yourself if they're charismatic or not, I think that will be not humble. Mm. That had to be a quality that somebody like I must never say that I am generous or I am kind. I think that's left up to other people to say about you. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. So you take me serious when I say it, it's not true. No, 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 but um, these are qualities that people okay, like Uncle Carrie, mm. mm -hmm. very very charming man. That is a man of charisma. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. ready to it. My brother-in-law, he he was. He you was so that I love that one. He was so charming and so humble and so kind mm -hmm. and so charismatic. Yeah, for real, eh? You could just imagine. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, Carissa, man, I remember going once to um, somewhere on Cross Crossing. And while we were walking out, somewhere, somewhere, we went to buy bread. Mm -hmm. And while we were walking, there was an old lady sitting on the steps. I don't know what she was selling. And Carrie sat down next to that lady and talked to that lady as though it was his grandmother. Hmm. And well, he was generous to her. Must he buy a whole basket of goodies? Whatever yeah. it was, Carrie will do that. Mm -hmm. huh. Good, good fellow. Real good guy. Mm -hmm. Dead and gone, but not so good. Mm. Not at all. Tell me about some charismatic people you met. Well, I try to think about it while as we speak. Yeah. Um. Mr. Sutton is one. Mm -hmm. Has a lot of charisma. That's true. Um. You see, to to refer to one as charismatic. It's like all the good qualities in one, eh? Yeah. And topped off with the right amount of charm. So, yes, you might meet somebody that's humble, somebody who's contented, right? But there's a certain charm that goes with a charismatic, charismatic person. You know? Certainly. One that um, they, they could be influencers. Mm -hmm. Right? They could be very influential. There's just so much um, positivity radiating from the person with a smile. With a smile. Mm -hmm. You know? So, yeah, boy. Not many charismatic people I know, you know. Uh -huh. You are one. Mom is one. Thank you. Yeah. So, um, and not necessarily the educated we're talking about, eh? No, this has no, nothing to do with education. Have to do with it. As a matter of fact, on the contrary, uh, Rose is a very charismatic girl. Yes. Mm -hmm. Rose, a lot of that positive energy, right? Um, always willing to smile, regardless of what, whatever she may be facing, right? Um. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
But I know many good people. Mm -hmm. I know many good people. Right? Many, many good people. You see, sometimes when you're over a good boy or you're over nice, you could get bitten. And that's why a lot of people do not, they hold back that certain amount of charm. Because once bitten, twice shy. Yeah. You know? That's true. Hurts. Yes. Hurts. Bad experiences. Yeah. Can take away. Somebody charisma, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I would, I, would, I would say, I would venture to say, if a person is charismatic, mm -hmm. A person has the ability to empower and to influence mm. and is doing it sincerely, not making mileage out of a situation, right? Yeah. That person has a strength to even overcome. Don't, don't mind you talk about once bit twice shy. That person has a power, an in, inward power to overcome situations. Yeah. Yeah. That's because, true. because I believe charisma is something you're born with, eh? But that is why, as I say, you will know a lot of good people. But to say they, they have charisma, not necessarily so. Because charisma is, as you say, is regardless of what is being thrown your way. You're always positive, you have a smile on your face, you know? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And you go beyond being somber, critical. Okay. For instance, hmm? You know who has a lot of charisma in this area? Balchan. Uh -huh. Balchan always has, always wears a smile for you. Quiet man. Not boisterous. Quiet man, but always have that smile. You have to have a real attitude of gratitude to be charismatic. And you always have to be wearing that smile, regardless of what you're going through. Boris. A charismatic fella. Who's that? Boris Holder. Mm. Mm -hmm. Right? You can take out of them, but they're few, you know. <laughs> they're yeah, few. Yeah, Excuse me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I will go and give the dog the spoon. <laughs> right. You have a charismatic dog? Ha nah, not this dog has no charisma. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. But mommy, in your your um, career, you met some charismatic people, did you not? Oh yes. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. Um, Ragu Nanan. Ragu Nanan was a very charismatic man. He he was always jovial have a nice word make you feel happy that you saw him mm -hmm. because, that is very true you, you know now i guess your perception to look who i may find charismatic somebody else may not find mm. so it might just be to how you see things right right and that old man that worked mr daram singh he used to work in piaku years ago Mm -hmm. I always admire Mr. Durham Singh, long dead, but he was just such a humble man, always pleasant, and there was something about him I found was charismatic. Mm. You know who too? Who can be Akko? Well, he might have been a shell. You, you tell me, Mr. Issa Hack. Mr. Issa Hack. From Cora Joshua. That's right, Mr. Issa Hack. I really admired him. That man was a gentleman boy. Right? Fred Talma mm -hmm. was a very charismatic man. Mm -hmm. That was the managing director of National Petroleum. And um, somehow, I, in my opinion of an, a charismatic person, is someone who can relate to everyone. I, I don't know whether I'm getting my charisma. <laughs> I don't no, no, no. But it's part of the package. Uh, it's part of the package. Mm -hmm. That there are some people, as Lasana say, very nice. But they're nice to who they like. You know who's nice and 
I'm jumping because it, it's in my mind now. When we went to Las Lomas recently, the girl was selling the polori. Yes. She was so natural and was ready. Huh? She mm -hmm. was ready. I found her charismatic. Okay. And yes. you, you actually know people you can approach and say, hey, these people have nothing to hide. Yeah. And these people want to share what they know and what they have. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So, but someone who is in a position and can relate to all levels of your staff, mm. I will say that's a charismatic person. That's right. You know, because over my years of working and seeing different different levels of people seniority over the years um one of the things that i found that has been lacking is they gang together and others do exist a charismatic person for me embraces a, embraces everyone others. yes embraces yes. everyone they can bring themselves to the level to speak to the janitor they you know why speak. mommy because these people who are charismatic they are self-confident that's right, right. because they, they have a, a wealth of confidence in them one of the things that i remembered of mr Talma is that he was the managing director after the British managing directors left. And he would, when we had parties, Christmas parties, he would dance with the janitress. He, he would dance with the janitress. And to me, that was not degrading. I thought, oh, that's wonderful to, to make that person feel like one of us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I feel a charismatic person is someone who can really reach out and speak to anyone, whether he's a scavenger on the street or he's a managing director or he's a lawyer or he's a doctor. It doesn't matter. Right. And because in every different um sphere of life there are good people no in different um, ranks right in different ranks of people am i permitted to sit next to you of course you will make me look more beautiful <laughs> <laughs> i will make you look more beautiful yes your reflection the radiance of you will reflect on me Okay, boss. So, but you move for that? No, 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 no. I move for that. I move for that. <laughs> and I'll settle up the, the place here. You know, you know me. I will set up things. Okay, Mama. So, yes. tell me about Mr. Talma and his. You know, and he would acknowledge everyone when he enters the main office. He will acknowledge everyone. Mm -hmm. I and was kind man, good man. I will say he was a charismatic person. Okay. I can think of um Who you can think of? Well you talk about somebody you know? I would say that mm, I my mind runs to Owen, my brother Owen. I think Owen Batiste Past managing director, past editor, editor at large. Owen Batiste had a charisma that was very, what, what, what should I say, very influential. Right? And, you know, I, be, I believe, I believe that Owen Batiste really had a gift. He was born as a, he was a born journalist. You know, he told me once, he said to me once, you know, Journalism is for those who are born with a knack to be a journalist. Mm -hmm. If you are a journalist by birth, you could say, yeah. you will love your job, you will pursue your career, 
you will be successful. <clears throat> Another man I think had a lot of charisma was Bas Diopande. Bas Diopande had a lot of charisma. He was a man with great humor. He was a man who... That's grassroots. Grassroots, but he could relate. To the and, higher and, powers. Yes. Mm -hmm. I will also say that one night I was traveling after, I think, I was an imprint at the time, and George Chambers, oh, yes. George Chambers was another man who had a lot of charisma, I find. We were in a traffic jam, and I was there with a, with a, 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 a gentleman from Shogona, Syria. Oh gosh, what was that guy's name again? Anyway, and for some reason, we came up on George Chambers and his wife, and they were next to us in the traffic. And this young man with me was um, part of a, of a political group that was like the opposition in Baden, right? Mm -hmm. And he started to throw some, what Pekong. we call, Pekong <laughs> at George Chambers. And George Chambers was casually puffing on his, on his cigarette. His wife was there. And I tell you the truth, Mr. Chambers was absolutely cool. And he handled my friend. Ah, uh -huh. big up the Dennis Singh. Dennis Singh. Dennis Singh boy. That's right. That's right. Where are you? Where are you, Dennis? Dennis, 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 Dennis. But Dennis Singh and Chambers that night had a real friendly banter. But Chambers was not in the least disturbed. Mm -hmm. He wasn't disturbed. He's a serious boy, you know. Really, that is George true. Chambers grew up in the carcass. Imagine that. So he had that sense of humor. Mm -hmm. Could relate to anybody because he grew up in the village that brought up in those days. The village brought you up, mm -hmm. and he he would have been like a few years older than me, right. maybe ten years. So big up the George Chambers from the carcass. <laughs> okay. No, we can we can swing around and say that there were some Calypsoners who really had a lot of charisma. I think the Mighty Shadow was was one of them. He had charisma. His songs were reaching people. They were underlying the grassroots effect, and I believe that he had a lot of charisma. Our our president Kamura at one time. The oh yes. That is a man I found with a lot of charisma. Why? Right, because he resembled a Baptiste? He resembled a Baptiste. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, no, I sat as a juror and he was a judge. Okay. That's over 20 years ago. Of course, when he walked into the room, he, he I thought, mm -hmm. wow, right. he is like a Baptiste boy. Mm -hmm. Yes, man. You know, incidentally, he, I think, grew up with, if not related to um, Judy T. Really? Yes, yes, okay, okay. yes. I, I think it, he's related to Judy T, or they grew up in the same village. Again, country boy. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. Country people grew up to be very balanced people. Yes, and so I, I guess person, because there was no competitive spirit. Exactly. In, in the no hang-ups. There yeah. were no yeah. hang-ups. And maybe people without hang-ups can be people that has charisma. Maybe, yeah. Because they don't feel inferior to anyone. Neither do they feel superior to anyone. Mm -hmm. So they can be on an even keel with anyone. That, so we are discovering here someone who has charisma when you probably trace their background they grew up in a country village maybe or had been a person visited the country mm -hmm. and saw the real life you know country life is real life you know mm -hmm. especially years ago let me let me let me just interject please before i forget my brother bertram bertram had a lot of charisma a lot of charisma yeah. The Batiste family on the whole. Yes. I'm not being biased. 
I, I, let me let me go and get a photograph. You you talking to me? I'm not that. being biased, mm -hmm. but I was very impressed with the Batiste family when I met them. Their friendliness, their positive personalities, and handsome, of course. <laughs> no, really, and the parents, the Batiste family, my father-in-law loved my mother-in-law. And father loved mother and he was a good husband to her and he treated her with a lot of love and respect and I would see that the Batiste men in their marriage they have been good fathers and good husbands I, I can definitely speak for myself but the main idea that they all remained in their marriage tells me that they work their marriage, regardless of whatever, whatever you know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, big up about his family, Lance. Yes, I want I to... I big them up. You know how to big them up. I right? want to just show this picture here. The gentleman I'm talking about as my brother, Bertram, is the gentleman to the right here with his arms folded. What, what anniversary was this for us? 30th anniversary. Our 30th anniversary. So I am, I am sitting next to Bertram there. That's Louise, Louise's sister, uh, Betsy. And her husband, oh. Naz. And her husband, Naz. Naz is another guy with a lot of charisma to her. Yes. Yeah, yes. We, we have remained friends for many years. We're still friendly. But Bertram. Um, maybe I should pick up the boys that married because they're girls. Hold on a second. They then. all have charisma. But you see this, <laughs> this guy here with his arms folded? He's deceased. But Bertram, I really like the... Bertram, Bertram was like... I think he had a quest to go to Venezuela, go to Colombia, to do some tracing of family roots of a certain certain people, because he had this conquistador style style, style. Yes, and yes. <laughs> Butram was witty, but he was very simple. Now well, that's the next thing with people with charisma. The simple people. Yeah, yeah. They're simple people. They don't pick up yourself. Yeah, don't make up yourself. Yes, yes, yes. So. Oh God, they just. And I guess maybe too, there's a certain amount of love in them too. Love of mankind that they can reach out, you know. Okay, hold on a second. Eh? And all this rainfall, water is silent. That's a diligent young man. And, and would you believe that Anna... Oh. Anna one day, she she hears this van passing very often whenever she's here to tell you how diligent they are. Whenever Anna is here, she with this, shop, this van will pass. Mm -hmm. And one day she just started to say, come and get it, come and get it, come and get it. Water, water, come and get it, come and get it, come and get it. Water, water. <laughs> she was you know, just you, four, you know. You could go, you could, you could travel with a guy, you know. <laughs> you could travel with a guy. Come and get it, come and get it, come and get it. Water, water. <laughs> yes. All this rain falling. Bucket a drop. Water passing through. Let, let's talk again, excuse me, about charisma. Tulapuna Market. Mm -hmm. I have no idea of the young man's name. I don't even know if he's still around. But there was a young man when we walked in from the southern side of the Tulapuna Market. Selling fruits. He, he was selling vegetables, provision, whatever, right? So but I'm I was, I, yes. Oh, that do you had introduced us to? Yeah, and I, I do not know how this young man could have remembered who was taking what it's amazing, it's amazing. So, and he was friendly, he was quick, efficient. With ev every customer. With every customer. He, he knew treated he, them with him, and individualism. And he, sur he would be surrounded by about five or six customers and he knew exactly what you were taking. Yeah, yeah, Now, yeah. these people had to be born with a talent boy. Oh, Shelly Birds, taking a good bath. 
Look at that. Lance and Louise out, out in the rain, boy. Uh, <laughs> you know what's good for me? Better come inside. <laughs> so, so my dear, you know, the ability. No, I could think of some gas station dealers who were very, very charismatic. For instance, um, Harry Jagannath. Harry Jagannath. Yes. Harry Jagannath was a very, very charismatic person. Gandhi, his brother. Yes. Right? Gandhi. Yes. Yeah. Gandhi. Oh, um, Gandhi, yes. Gandhi. De Raj. De Raj. De Raj. Oh, yes. De Raj Gandhi. My um, boss, Dennis Hyde Prasad. Very charismatic. Now, remember, charisma, we're dealing here with people who have an, a natural tendency to influence in a good way. To influence in a good way and to encourage people along good lines. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. That, that's the charisma that we're going behind at the moment. You know? Yeah. Friendliness. You know, impartiality. Not judgmental at all in the least. Willing to be available to help. Charisma. Charisma is a wonderful thing, right? Charisma. Yes, of course. Of course. No, I could think, I could think also, I could think also, we were Catholic once, but I could think of working with Archbishop Pantin, and I would say in the, in the two or three years that I worked alongside of him at the Catholic News, he was a very charismatic person, you know, he was not, he, his office did not exclude was exclusive to only two, to people he knew and, and people who admired him. He was he was there for all. I could think of Marie Therese. Oh yes, Marie she Therese, is a lovely woman. A French, French um, sister. Now up in a very, you know, high age. She was very. She she was the. She she penned what they call the columns are called uh, parish beat. When I was at the Express, um, Catholic News. Like a, um, a hummingbird, yes. Hummingbird. Yeah. So, it's wonderful when you could, you, you have a trail of people who have been very charismatic in your, in your journey. Let's, let's, let's take, for instance, um, the village I came from in Coralia. They are charismatic. <laughs> That's what supposed to be flashing. a motor car, or maybe it's a plane. A motorbike. A motorbike? Yeah. Wrong, wrong run, Redo. <laughs> so, in my old village, um, I grew up with a, a young man called Peter Plaza and Sylvester, Sylvester Scott. Popo? Popo. And two wonderful young men. They were good, my good buddies. And they were, they were genuine good friends. So I want to make up those up, those people up there in the coconuts. We can't forget them. I can't forget my roots. It would be terrible. And then there were people up in Upper Cora. People who, whose lifestyles contributed to characters I was able to include in the ghost of Cora. Yeah. You know, people whose, whose lifestyles and whose friendliness. I remember a man named Mr. Koro. I really couldn't tell you where he came from, but when you would meet him, you know, you know what's the nice thing about a charismatic person? The ready smile. That ready smile that you cannot escape. That ready smile that says, you know, I could be your friend, you know, in a friendly way, of course. Well, <laughs> <laughs> In a friendly way, of course. of course. I don't want to be misunderstood. <laughs> Mr. Ramchan. Oh, yes. Ramchan, Vivian Ramchan was yes. very charismatic. Also, oh, another Cedrus guy. Cedrus seemed to have produced. I'm, I'm now finally getting convinced that Cedrus has produced some good stuff. Yes. Finally, eh? <laughs> finally. <laughs> yes, we had a, we had a um, prime minister. Yeah, Ramchand was a manager in NP. Mm -hmm. um, 
Simonette. And we have all them tank wagon drivers I, uh, who were very kind to me and very nice and the warehouse staff. Yeah. I feel very generous at this point in time. Must be the weather. <laughs> Must be the weather. I feel generous to to be to be to remembered. To see all the positives. Yes, to That's see the all the, the people. And we were at the airport recently and we met a lovely little family there from um, down in Monrepo area. Right, Gisha. I'm talking Gisha, about, Gisha's I'm talking parents. about your, your parents, your brother. Yes, and Gisha, who is the, like a good supporter. She calls me Mama Lou, and she is very much yes. in love with us. We were happy to meet your family, Gisha. And I must say, it, uh, we were not surprised at all because the chip doesn't fall far from the tree. Mm -hmm. And your your mother particularly radiates such warmth and love. Your brother and your dad in this quiet way, you know. You were also saying this. We're rambling on, right? Not rambling, but we we moving on. Um, you were going to say something about your brothers, the charismatic. Um, oh yes, the charismatic. But I don't want to flavor that there. I don't want to. I don't want to sound boastful. But I have some wonderful brothers, very charismatic, very friendly, very supportive to anyone. I would say that they will fall under the category of charismatic. Okay. okay. Also my sisters, they're wonderful people. And this is not blowing your, trump, your own trumpet, but I'm proud to be their sister. My brothers and my sisters, I am proud to be their sister. Well, I have no choice but to say I'm proud to be their brother. <laughs> I didn't tell you to say that. Eh? <laughs> you didn't have my permission to say that. No, 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 I didn't have your permission. <laughs> and, and, and recently, while we were in the States, you know, oh. I would think of some charismatic friends. Oh, that we boy, had. yes. I would say Ralph and Yvonne. Very charismatic, just beautiful. In Paulette, who is there, very charismatic. Yes. And little Johnny, can't forget Johnny. Yes. Can't forget Johnny. Omar and D. Their home yes. has always been open. Sidoni. Sidoni and, and Gary. Gary. Yeah. And we have all the other friends, the, a lot of Jamaican friends who were there. Boy, you know who's very charismatic? Charmaine and Owen. Yeah, yeah. Charmaine. Very easy to speak to wonderful wonderful yes we are fortunate to know a lot of charismatic people and uh, even some of the subscribers you know from your from your comments yes we can tell that although we don't know you yeah. that you are quite charismatic the very way you 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 frame and your choice of words and the way yeah. you you write your comments one can tell this is a charismatic person yeah and we appreciate that about you all yes my dear girl so louise can you think of anybody else you like i mean even on our street this very street that we live on we have very charismatic people here too. Our Francis. neighbor Francis, yes. Francis. I, I particularly like Phil Buck across the road and his wife Angie. And we have a couple there with, uh, with two son and a daughter just beyond there. Lovely people, you know. Yeah. You go down the line. We have the springs. Oh, oh, oh she's very charismatic, yeah? Yes, Pearl as Spring. well as well as her husband, very Pearl charismatic. Spring and, and Cecil Spring, yeah. yeah. Yes, so we're talking here about charisma, charisma that helps people to to gravitate towards you. You know, and remember, remember they say it's the smile that does it, and the smile when you meet someone. I mean, let's go back a little bit to Samson, who came this morning. Samson was 
so happy to be here. So happy to just meet us and chat with us. And he didn't want anything. He just wanted to be here. Mm. Right? I could think of people who come here like Shami and, 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 and Nitu. Shami and Nitu. I could think of Shivani and Mark. Of course, all of these you are know. wonderful people. Yes. Candice, who writes, Lima, Richardson, Laura, Nicholas. These, these wonderful people who are there. I would like to talk about a charismatic little girl, Eva. She came when the uh, and mommy, they came for the avocado. And she had the little thing that she drew? The little, yes. Right, that, yeah. From the time that little girl saw me, she was so charismatic and she brought all her little paint drawings and, and she could just relate at a little young age of seven years never met me before and she was just so friendly and so outgoing and it was like you can see she's that way with everyone you know and um i i was very impressed with that little eva eva if you are looking at on at this show with your mommy and your granny mm. remember mama grandma lou is picking you up as a child, you can see her growing up to be a very charismatic person, as well as a sister. Somebody, somebody, we met somebody in, in Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood Airport, Rochelle and Sheldon and Liam, and, and they came and they approached us, and you know, the smile, the warmth. How could you not be drawn to these people? Yeah. How could you not want to be drawn? I don't think these people came forward because they want a shout out. They want a big up. No, these people have it. And that's why we did that video and we said the real stars are Trinis. The <laughs> real stars are the Trinis with a charismatic flavor. So mommy girl. I would like to hail out, especially to Carl and Marcy. It's, I think it's been a while I- Ken and Marcy. Ken, Ken and Marcy. That's where we get into trouble. <laughs> Lean back a little bit there because I don't know it might be out of frame. We always get into trouble. I uh, hold on a little bit. Let Ken me. and Marcy, I'm mixing up my boys. <laughs> I will really like to say I am really sorry and a little disappointed how how we were not able to link up with you all for that day. But anyway, more times. You, you carry on a little. I will about. also like to hail out to. Um, it's amazing. Eh? I love all of you. And I think so many names flood my mind that I cannot somehow remember the names. I get the, the names mixed up. I would like to hail out to Indra. I wonder if it's Indra and Carl. <laughs> Indra, my dear, thank you for taking care of Mama Lou, um, those um, strips and so you sent for me, appreciated it. Tony and Shanta has been there for us. We appreciate you all. Um, Deborah Suraj came by yesterday, bringing sweet, nice, delicious sweet bread for us. Thank you, Deborah. What is Deborah's husband's name? Victor. Victor. Deborah and Victor. At least I got that one correct. <laughs> also, I'm not sure about the frame um, of how it is here. Dale Tech and Chrissy. Thank Christy, you. Christy. Christy, thank you for that visit with Baby Tech. And um, so many of you, so very caring. We do appreciate. Oh, we know that you all are there for us. Yeah. And we appreciate so many names to remember and um but please remember that we appreciate your support and even silent followers thank you all for being there and supporting us and we really hope that what we present is helping because we as I always say, that we're not counselors, we are not therapists, but we share our life together. And having 53 years of experience, this, 
the old people always say experience is the best teacher so we really hope that what we share with you all is of help sometime when you're in a situation that you could remember oh maybe i should do it maybe i should do it this way or maybe i should not have said that and you can say we are sorry because those are words that one could never get tired of hearing sorry thank you please what they used to call that what words are those as children you were told mm. papa like i can depend on your voice no 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 if i slip in i can't say lazy yes sorry that's right <laughs> the kind words or yeah i forgot the, i forgot i forgot how the, there were words they said somebody and somebody thank you. if any one of you the golden words the golden i'm not too sure if it's the golden words well, or we could the, we could frame yeah. them as the golden words yes please and thank you i'm sorry these uh, are very these are words that can take us through any difficult dif dif situation because once we are sorry now we're not going to be saying we sorry and we go back and do the same thing again we are saying we sorry and we try to do better it's not going to change overnight whatever it is that has been affecting us and the person said i'm sorry we don't expect that it will be felt well tomorrow you're going to make the same mistake but you might make it next week mm -hmm. so it's a, slowly and gradually things can be fixed once we are willing to be supportive to each other little things can fix so we hope that we can be of some help and if there's any subject or topic that you would like to hear about we will see if we can think about it i have a subject i have a subject i have a subject you want the burger i don't want a burger <laughs> i want to just say something um dinish and bids i in all my anxiety referred to that wonderful meal we had and i was trying to um you know yes trying to commend your son and for the strangest reason i wasn't calling him sachin which is his name i was saying sunil so i want to apologize for that openly yes and say it. sachin boy i change your name <laughs> your christian man i rechristen you <laughs> but but i enjoy your meal another thing um this guy who came this morning he asked me if i had been to the funeral of videsh's is it grandmother grandmother i think it is and i said no i did not even know that the lady died so i want to say condolences to videsh and family on the passing of a close relative yes. so my friends i think we better just at this point in time um close off our little session here and mama lu Omar Randi, you listen all your man. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> thanks again. Thanks again. Thanks again. So maybe I could just focus a little bit on the garden. Mama Lou has oh, been yes. trying, but particularly that crown of thorns. Oh, mommy, the, the 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 rain has really been down. The rain has really been down. Focus on the crown of thorns. Those pink ones. The crown of thorns. That's Mama Lou's section across there. Yeah. So the skies are showing. It seems to be clearing up. I don't know if that's called any clearing. But it's a nice cool breeze. But the birds are surely going behind the insects. So once again, friends, thank you very much, and um, we are saying so long. Love you all. <laughs>